going on guys? So we just wrapped up a three day filming trip up on Cag Lake in Ontario and we have been catching quite a few fish and we just wrapped up the show after three days of filming like I said right here with cameraman extraordinaire Jim Grover and then my dad right there and I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek on, at one of the bites that we've been doing up here so what, what do we got going on here dad? Right now we're fishing uh, over pretty deep water. We're fishing around the top of a 75 foot hump and we're trying to catch big lake trout. Over the last couple of days, we caught some really big ones doing that, but intermittently we see a lot of really fish suspended really high and some of those are walleyes. And what we're doing is just taking a, uh, just a, a fluke like this and floating it about 20 foot down. And when we see a suspended fish, you just hold it there and you're catching pretty nice sized walleyes doing that. But the real, Highlight of the trip, lake trout, vertical jig, and some real whoppers. <laughs> yeah, so fisheries like this have big lake trout, like 40 plus inch fish. And as you can see right there, the sun is going down. We don't have a lot of time left in the day, left in the trip, but we're gonna see if we can catch a couple fish before we call this thing a wrap. Stay tuned. Whoa, that didn't take long. That was kind of fast. Why? <laughs> Mr. Grover, you want to take this one? Oh, no, go ahead. No, are you? Yeah, I'm good, you go. Can you then hold the camera for less? Oh, okay, I can't turn that down. I can't turn that down. I said, I'll do that for my buddy. I know how hard you've worked over the last couple of days. Right. No, just take I'll turn it down once, but okay. when you say a second time, I'm not saying no. <laughs> Grover, Grover it's like hold a it up. Minnesota thing, you always hold say no it up easy. First, first time, time. yep. Yeah. Gotta well, wait for him. You, you gotta understand, this guy's been holding the camera for like the last three days, three days incessantly. <laughs> right. Just easy on him though. And that, that, that's not counting the travel day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How does he feel, Jim? Not too bad. He feels really nice. Oh, no, he's already here. Okay. Wait for him to go back. Oh, no. Whoa. Ooh. Come here, buddy. Oh, no. Oh, there's a what do you mean? Wow, nice I got the extendo. Up. Look at that. I popped it at the end. That's awesome. Okay, there you go. Boy, look how pretty that one is. Wow. That's a cool fish. That's a really Darn pretty fish. Color. Wow. Here, do you want to hold this down the back? Got it in a second or two. Wow, is that a pretty one? Wow, look how dark that sucker is. Okay. Come here, buddy. I used to do this in high school when I came between co or when I just went to college. Wow. I actually guided in a flying fishing camp and we used to do this a lot. Beautiful fish. Look at that guy there, isn't it? I love Gorgeous. the colors on the fins. fins. Yeah, the char. Yeah. Oh yeah, that is sweet. We gotta go get. Where's Mr. Big at? <laughs> yeah. was, uh, I should. You want to hold him? Oh, it's, uh, I hear you. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I got him. There. All right. Sweet. Okay. Nice job, Back guys. There we go. Nice tag team effort. That didn't take long. <laughs> so here's a closer look at the bait that got bit right there. It's sort of like a vibrating bait. Dad actually hooked this guy right down at the bottom. I've actually been fishing this a lot and it's been doing a little bit better for the walleyes than the Lakers for me. Another one. Oh, are you <laughs> kidding me? Smaller fish. Smaller one? Yeah. I think I'm done uh, talking to the camera. I think I'm gonna try and catch one of these fish. <laughs> no, I got them wired now. Do you? Might, be a, white, a lot might be a white fish. Might be a big whitey. Nope. Look at that, a deep wild. Whoa, Look at that. how deep you know was how, he? This walleye, nope, no, don't even net him. This walleye probably came out of close to 75 foot of water. That, <laughs> that's how deep that fish was. I'm not kidding you, the fish was down in the abyss. You gotta get her off and back down. Immediately. Come here, buddy. 
I was wondering why it wasn't biting so much. Whoa, whoa. Come here, buddy. Oops, sorry about that. Back down into the depths. She's got to go back down fast. That was the deepest walleye I've ever caught. That fish was we're in 80 foot of water, and the fish was on the bottom. And so a lot of these fish here are lake trout. Oh yeah, all well, most of most of them are lake trout, white fish, and uh, a lot of ciscos and cool looking down there. Like that big boy right there? Yeah, yeah like that one right there. We want to catch him. That's right. right yeah, yeah. <laughs> you'll get him, that guy there. You're reeling up. You'll get. He'll get your attention. I assure <laughs> you. Yeah. It's all of a sudden you hit a bowling ball. <laughs> So what we're doing right now is we're taking these vibrating baits like this. Right now we're in roughly 70, 80 foot of water and we're slow drifting with the wind uh, over these different super deep um, main lake. It's not even structure, it's like basins and stuff. Um, so we're dropping down to the bottom and as you can see right here, takes a while to get down to the bottom but once we get there and I'm not there yet but we snap down give it a pop 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 and then according to dad you reel it up for a little bit sometimes they chase you give it another pop pop drop it back down to the bottom and repeat about three times after three times your bait is way off in the distance um, so that's all, that's basically all you do. And dad's been doing this for a long time, ever since way back when he used to guide on a Tequa as a kid. How old were you when you guided on a Tequa? Uh, college. college age, he says. So he's caught a few lake trout doing it. A lot. A lot of lake trout. All right, so it was starting to get a little bit dark. We had to head in and unfortunately, we only stuck two fish. What are you gonna do? that's fishing, but what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you a little clip from, it was the first day of the trip of a sweet laker that we stuck. I hope that's a decent consolation for you. One thing at this time of the year, Steve, you actually, you got so many different uh, fish in this lake, but at, during the summer, every, a lot of people like coming up to Canada shallow when the early season, but during the summer, you got a lot of fish together out in yeah. deeper water like this, which is really sort of fun because you can catch lake trout. In this particular lake, we got big walleyes, northern pike. They start keying in on really deep water forage. Wow. Big, Whoa. big lake trout. It's a big one. It's a really big lake trout. I mean, like a big one. Like 20 pounder? Yeah, that's what it looks like. It's a good fish. It's definitely a good fish. I'm wondering if he's going to come up here and realize he's hooked now. <laughs> then he's going to get really crabby. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Look at that one. Boy, that's a pretty one. Nice Look at that. Nice that's a pretty one. Whoa, that yeah, tail. Yeah, that's a really pretty fish, man. A really big gold. Yeah. Look at that yeah. thing. That's a good one. Look at him. Boy, look at that beautiful fish. At first, I thought it was a walleye. That was it. Initially, Steve says, I don't think so. <laughs> that's more That's more like a... Uh, there you go. <laughs> look, look at that's that guy there. Girl. What? I'll give you that net for a second. I'll, I'll grab, 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 I'll grab the pliers. How do you like that one? <laughs> I really like it. You know, we just got got to camp in Lewinburgers at Cag Lake Lodge. I'm fishing with Steve Clark. He's the uh, sort of camp manager. And what he was going to do is drive around to show us a few spots. We pulled over a deep water hole. And this is one of the first fish we bag, which is a, a pretty sporty one. Not to mention, how long have we been in this spot for a little bit? We've caught not only really nice sized lake trout, this particular fish, gorgeous fish. Look at that thing. We caught a number of big walleyes too. That's a nice fish. Better get her back in yep. the water. What a beautiful animal there. Wow. Whoa, she's ready to go. I thank you, sir. I know one thing for the first 20 minutes on the, on the lake. <laughs> Not a bad start. I'm, no, I'm, I'm impressed. Not a bad start. <laughs> I'm really liking it already. <laughs> it was a, yeah, that was a good fish. Yeah, that was. Wow. Yeah.